Let's unravel the mysteries of social climbing and how to do it with intention and authenticity. One of the biggest misconceptions about rising through social circles is that you need to be cutthroat or manipulative. What they don't tell you is that true social ascension comes from aligning your actions with your highest values and the lifestyle you genuinely desire. Iconic social climbers like Meghan Markle and Amal Clooney are the modern blueprints of this elevated approach. They didn't just marry into high society. They leveraged their platforms for causes they deeply care about. And while I profoundly respect these women, I believe that in our interconnected, social media-driven world, we need a more soulful strategy to climb the social ladder without losing ourselves. So, if you're yearning to elevate your social status and surround yourself with people who inspire your growth, here are three pieces of unconventional wisdom that could transform your journey. Number 1. Define your mountaintop. In a world obsessed with followers and likes, knowing your true summit is revolutionary. Social climbing isn't just about getting into the fanciest parties. It's about accessing circles that align with your deepest aspirations. Take Oprah Winfrey. She didn't just climb to mingle with celebs. She ascended to amplify voices that matter. Start by journaling your ideal life. Who's there? What conversations are you having? This clarity will be your compass, guiding every networking event and every connection you make. 2. Master the art of reciprocal energy. Femininity in social climbing is about the energy you bring and attract. It's not just who you know. It's how you make them feel. Think of the graceful way Michelle Obama commands a room, or how Priyanka Chopra makes everyone feel special. They give as much as they receive. Practice this in every interaction. When you meet someone, rather than thinking about what they can do for you, focus on how you can add value. Maybe it's a thoughtful question, a genuine compliment, or connecting them with someone in your network. This reciprocity creates a magnetic field that naturally draws people up to your level. And three, cultivate the mystery of selective sharing. In an era of oversharing, being discerning with your personal narrative is profoundly powerful. Your struggles, your strategies, your behind-the-scenes hustle these are the element of your rise. Beyonce embodies this. She gives glimpses of her journey, but keeps the real grind private. This mystery makes her success seem both aspirational and attainable. So, curate your story, share your wins publicly that party you got invited to, that mentor who took you under their wing. But keep your tactical moves, your late-night LinkedIn sessions, your networking audibles, close to your chest. Share these only with your inner circle or in high-value masterminds. This isn't secrecy. It's respecting your journey enough to reveal it only to those who are climbing alongside you. Remember, successful social climbing isn't about changing your essence. It's about elevating your environment to match your evolved self. Define your personal summit, give and receive energy gracefully, and share your story strategically. Do this, and watch as you not only ascend social heights, but also inspire a ripple effect, lifting others as you rise. This is your journey to social eminence. And trust me, when you climb with grace and purpose, you won't just change your social circle. You'll redefine what it means to truly succeed in this interconnected world. So, are you ready to start your ascent? Your elevated tribe is waiting for your unique essence.